hey, it's Dre254, and you're about to see me do a review of all my videos of 2022, which is now considering to be season six of my channel. And every year represents a season. And I combined 2016 and 2017 into one, since 2016 only had three videos that I uploaded. So, anyways, uh, shout out to Pie Guy Rules, the YouTuber who inspired me to do this. I've watched his videos of him reviewing seasons of SpongeBob, and it's going to look similar. Enjoyed the video, guys. Here's one more note I forgot to mention of before the video begins. I'm not including the Mr. Incredible videos, since they are just meme videos that I don't really care about nowadays. And also, some of my shorts, such as the Spotify short released in August, won't be included. Without further ado, here we go. The first video I made in 2022 was my rant on November 2013, which released on January 8th. November 2013 was the worst month that I have experienced, as half the days of the month were bad. And I actually have all the dates memorized. The reason it was such an awful month was because of how my behavior was atrocious. In this video, I basically explain why all the bad days of this month were bad in order, with a unique way of recording. I explained how I did it down below in the fun fact, if you take a look. The 22nd was definitely my worst day in that disaster of a month, and you can see below where to go to see that part. Next up was my salute on March 1st, 2019. For those of you who don't know, that was the best day of my life. In this video, I explained all the reasons why it was that way. I never said this before, but I purposely record every rant and salute in a location I didn't already record that type of video in. This time, I recorded it on my back porch in my mom's house. After the introduction, I talk about everything I did on that day sequentially, and then I close it. I also give a shorter explanation of this day in my Best Days of 2019 video on number 1, which was released in 2021, or season 5 of my channel. Now I've gone to my first song of the season, which was Techno Meditation. I came up with this song and completed it in only one day. As the title says, it's basically a calming meditation song. It's also my shortest song on my album, The Wall of Tie-Dye, as well as the only instrumental song on the album. For the interesting fact, this is the new ringtone that I have for when my maternal grandmother gets a phone call. Originally, it was a renatone, as it was intended to be that, but she wanted me to change it to techno meditation because she thought it sounded like a cool ringtone. Another fact is that the single album cover is something that I got from the Wii Fit game Lotus Focus, which is a game where you had to meditate and make sure the candle doesn't burn out by getting too jittery. This was also the first song in which I showed a visual instead of dancing to it, because my paternal grandmother said it's better that way, which I agreed with. Next up, we've got this video. In this video, I made a slideshow presentation in which I explained my best and worst days of every month from 2013 to 2021, and why each day was good or bad. For those who are interested in watching it, I'll warn you that it goes pretty fast, so you're probably going to want to pause to read the descriptions at times. Next up, we got my first top 10 list of the year. In this video, I take a look at my food challenges and, and describe which ones I personally think turned out the best. And I also explain what number challenge it was and when they released. For the fun fact, it was a mistake when I only included 4 honorable mentions instead of my usual 5. For those who would like to hear what I did in some of my challenges and which ones I recommend, this video is for you. Next up, we've got a food challenge. In this video, John and I flip a coin and we either get a real food or the Oreo version of it. I'll tell you the part that made the whole video and you'll understand what I mean. You'll understand the objective. I got a dark chocolate Oreo. And John had to take a shot of straight cocoa powder. Then he was coughing it up, which was absolutely hilarious. You can see it in the visual right now. Then he said, I'm going to be clearing cocoa out of my nasal chasm for next week. 
LMSBO, laughing my sticking butt off. My mom is in love with that part alone, and I think she even put it on Facebook. Anyways, it ended up being my only food challenge of the season, possibly because we were running out of ideas, and also because it was a busy year. But at least it turned out to be one of my better ones, from my perspective. Here we go with another song. This song is another one that I finished shortly after I came up with the idea, as it was the next morning. As the song title says, it has a synthesizer that goes on throughout the whole song. Like my previous song, I recommend this to people who like my softer electronic songs. For the interesting fact, the intro of the song was possibly influenced because of the rock band Linkin Park, because of the intro to their 2012 song, Burn It Down. So, anyways, this is the song I now currently use for the intro where I show my other songs. Next up, we've got my rant on Crayphones. In this rant, which was recorded in the house I lived in with my dad from September 2021 to May 2022, I talk about the, the cell phone that my evil clone, Cray, invented. I mentioned this before, but L. Liam came up with the Cray phone and a lot of the facts about it. So I start off this video by showing an advertisement on it that Cray speaks in, and I talk all about the reasons why it's a horrible device, and the infamous Cray virus. And I still live up to that quote, Do not ever buy the Cray phone, you'll very deeply regret it. And yes, that visual was when I was, when I was saying that. Now we've got a hotel tour. This is the video in which I record the hotel I stayed in with my mom on the night of March 30th, 2022. I filmed the bottom floor, the elevator, and our hotel room. I even gave the viewers a view of the city. I even took a picture of the city that I ended up using in my video for my song Night City for the second verse in the video. It was also uploaded the same day as my previous video, this one. So, in case you never heard Night City, well, you just heard it in the beginning of this video, and you're going to hear another part of it at the end. Next up, we've got this video, where my regular clone, Frey, and my female clone, Bray, plays all five sports and we sports with each other. The running gag is that Bray kicks Frey's butt in everything. I should have made them in another video of mine at some point. I also intended to make a series of Frey and Bray gaming together, as I even created a new intro for it, as you could see if you watched it. But I realized it was a difficult thing to do, and I, and I just never got another one done, so I just decided to keep it with this single video. And I also suggest that at the end, take a look at what I put on the message board. A few of you might have missed it. And you might get a good laugh out of it. <laughs> Next up, we've got my salute on The Simpsons. In this salute, I went outside of my dad's house and walked around and added my voice instead of talking directly like usual. So I basically talk mostly about the characters in The Simpsons, as well as a little bit of trivia about it, about the show. Then I mentioned the movie at one point, and a couple of other things. You might like this video if you're willing to learn about The Simpsons and you're interested in learning about them. Here we go. A family question video. In this video, my family gathers at my Uncle Matt's house for his daughter's third birthday, my cousin Willow. While we're there, I ask them what their favorite restaurant is and what they like to eat from there most. At the end, I named a few different restaurants I like. And what I like from there, since it was so hard for me to pick just one. I originally intended to post this in February by getting videos sent from my family, but they seem to be too busy. My mom, mom, as well as my Aunt Jeannie and my Uncle Brian, already sent me theirs in February, so I used theirs. Now, as you can see, Uncle Brian's cat, Charlie, got a cameo. And that's him in the visual. 
Next up, we've got my rant on Rambo. In this rant, which is recorded in the bedroom of in the house I just moved into with my dad, I talk about the name of an awful rock band that I made up back in late 2020. And I go over the band members, their worst songs and albums, and why they are just a complete disaster of a band. If you see the quote that I said during the video, it's true. Dude Donaldson sounds exactly like that. Especially their infamous worst song ever, New York City. In the video, I didn't yet make up the fact that they made an even worse album without Duke Donaldson in 2022. Known as the Pink Album. Don't even get me started on that album. Hector Buchanan sings instead of Duke Donaldson. And his voice sounds similar to Duke Donaldson's voice, except angrier sounding. You'll highly regret listening to that album. Trust me. So the next video ended up being another rant. This rant, which was recorded in the downstairs room at my dad's current house, was my second rant that was on a particular day that I had. The first one was my 2021 rant on how my day went on April 19th, 2020. I mentioned many times that those two days were my worst days ever. If you want to know why they were horrible, you can check those videos out. This video is basically the opposite of my salute on March 1st, 2019, as I basically talk about why October 10th, 2018 was my least favorite day. Also, if you see my quote, in case you don't know what the word abominate means, it basically means to hate something with a passion and find it to be a disgrace. Oh, anyway, and anyways, one day, Maybe I'll salute on another awesome day that I had. Here's my next song, my first one in a while. And this song I started to come up with on May 30th and finally finished and uploaded on June 16th. In case you guys don't know, this song was made as an inspiration to Elv Liam since he is passionate about elevators. Now he always uses it at the end of his elevator videos. I also made the new intro and outro song for my rant videos. As you can see if you watched my rant on Deadfish High School. I personally think that this is probably my favorite song of my own. And I enjoy playing the main synth riff in the song on the piano and showing people. Next salute. This salute was the opposite of my rant on Rambo as I talk about an amazing rock band that I made up in late 2020, the band members, their best songs and albums, and why they're legendary. If you take a look at the quote that I said at one point, the incredible song I was referring to was a song titled No One Knows. That's actually the title. I'm not just saying that. Which, that which is Bet Legendo's best song and one of the greatest songs of all time. During the majority of the video, I do an overview of Legend of Seven albums and the best songs from them. When I told my friends about them on April 28th, 2022, I wished I would have told them before since I came up with Legend of in September 2020, around the same time I came up with Rambo. Next song, Pacific Dry. On July 1st, 2022, I went to the beach with my mom and two of my friends, which were Derek and his girlfriend Maddie. I showed them a couple of my songs there, and Derek told me that he wanted me to make a song with lyrics throughout the whole thing, so I decided to do that. I thought it would be, it would be cool to come up with the typical pop song method, the basic verse 1, chorus, verse 2, chorus, bridge, and chorus method, which I did in this song. Most of you guys probably didn't know this, but the beat of the chorus of the song had the same chord progression as 131 to 139 of my fourth song, Summer Is Here, back in 2020. If you listen to that part of, if you listen to that part of that song and then listen to the chorus of this song, you might catch it. I luckily didn't have to worry about copyright claims since it was my own song that I was sampling, LOL. I also have the instrumental version of this song currently at the intro and outro of my family question videos.
Now we've got another hotel tour video. In this video, I record the hotel that I typically stay at. This time, I stay with mom, John, and Aunt Dottie. I start off with recording the hotel room, then we go down the elevator. We walk to the indoor pool, and after we go swimming, we go back up the elevator back to our hotel room. When John said, rock and roll, bro, 30 seconds into the video, he said it in reference to the Greta Van Fleet concert that John and I were going to that night. And we had a great time there. Next up, my song, Outer Space. I go to an ESY every year. Extended school year is what it stands for. It's a summer school for students like me who have disabilities. I personally like going and I, it gives me a way to socialize and not get bored in the summer. During that one week, we were talking about space in class. That caused me to be interested in making a song about it. My friend Derek told me that he wanted a part of the song, so I wrote him an intro to give to me through an audio recording on FaceTime. Three days after I released the song, my summer school had the ESY's Got Talent, where every student got the ability to show a talent that they had. So I decided to show them this song. I even played the video on the screen while showing everybody. In the video, I included an edited picture of Jupiter and an edited picture of Saturn in addition to the main cover. I now have it as the intro and outro song for my top 10 list, in case you haven't heard already. Next up, my video, Amazon's Magical Pen. So this is the third video in the Amazon's Magical series. First, we had Amazon's Magical Remote in 2020. Then we had Amazon's Magical Echo in 2021. And now this one. This video is about how Amazon gives me a pen with sheets of paper. And it turns out everything I draw comes to life. I tried to draw Derek to make him come, but I drew Cray by accident and I had to kick him out of the house. It fortunately worked the second time though, but then Derek has the brilliant idea to draw a dragon that destroyed everything by breathing fire on the house. Right before it happened, Derek started screaming, WE'RE GOING TO DIE! While grabbing onto me, even though it was HIM who drew it. Here we go with another top 10 list. You've seen that in July, I posted a salute on my fictional good rock band Legendo. In this video, I go over their top 10 best songs and what they're about. I even give each different album its own color for the background. Although I only talked about 15 songs because of the top 10 and the 5 honorable mentions, I came up with all 59 of their songs, and I have a chart of them. Next rant, Rated X. In this video, I rant on the awful band that the YouTuber, who is currently known as CoolKennyKid2K7, came up with. I was at my stepdad John's oldest sister's house and I, when I recorded it. This has to be the angriest and most extreme rant that I've ever done. It's because of how atrocious the band Rated X was. Seriously, what in the world was Rated X thinking when they made their music? Like in my Rambo rant, I talk about the band members, the so-called instruments this band plays, and their horrifyingly abominable excuses of songs. If you like emphatic rants, this one is for you. Next up is my song 17, which was both the song number and the title, LOL. This was basically my first song to have an actual message, and every song I made since then taught a different one. It's about how my 17th birthday was in less than a month, and I need to be willing to become the best I can be. So the moral of the song is that as we grow up, we need to give our best efforts in putting in work and achieving our goals. When I wrote and sung the lyric in the third verse, 
Idleness is not on the list. I can explain what that means. That lyric basically means that we're not going to become successful in life if we grow up as unproductive and lazy people. So I wrote all three verses, but I just sung the first and third one. And my friend Derek did a spoken verse on a video chat like the previous song for the second one. Him and some others don't like how his voice was weak, hard to hear, and didn't bring the heat. But I personally think his voice makes it sound unique in a way that's hard to describe. But, but some don't like it. And the YouTuber I talked to named Spectral Sound just doesn't like the song in general. And I'm okay with that. He gave me constructive criticism for it on his Rate Your Music post about my album. Now here we go with my salute on a YouTuber I've given many shoutouts to on this channel. L of Liam. In fact, it was the fifth time I remember mentioning him in a video, as the fun fact says. In this video, I talk mainly about my friendship with him and stuff that we like talking about together online. I also talk about how he inspired me to make some of my videos and some other things that I know about him. Maybe check out this video if you're interested in learning more about him. Now we've got my rant on Piano Yard. For this rant, I talk about a complete disaster of a restaurant that I made up in 2017. What you can see down below was because I had chicken tenders from a place where they were disgusting, and I wanted to come up with a place that made much worse chicken tenders. Just take a look at down below at the visual and see the face I made at one point. That just shows that the piano yard is nothing but an absolutely disgusting excuse for a restaurant. This video talks about how everything in this restaurant is a disaster. From their many infamous food items to how the worker Paul Yates is a nasty person and how ugly the restaurant looks. Now we've got a video where I made memes on IMG Flip about how Roberto Peterson, Sikonacro's Argentino, and Piano Yard are the worst restaurants in existence. You'll see through these memes using well-known templates about how much of an abomination those two restaurants are. And like Piano Yard, Roberto Peterson Cinconacro's Argentino is also made up. A friend of mine made it up in middle school. Anyways, the, the song that I used was the famous classic piece Canon by Patchable, but sped up and higher pitch. Next song, Birds of Joy. I got the idea of making this song from hearing birds chirping while I was getting ready for school one morning. It was my first song in which I moved on from the starter pack because I purchased all the other packs of instruments. So I so it introduced all new instruments aside from the bass sound after the synth part at the start. Two of the new instruments I included involved the trumpet solo and an acoustic guitar riff before the coda. Anyways, the lyrics in the part of the song that has my verse teach a message about how the birds are always cheerful and that we can be like them by being in a positive state of mind all the time. Next salute, Dre's World of Minecraft. The YouTuber KulkaniKid2K7 came up with the name of the restaurant, but I came up with all the facts. I basically go over each of the seven restaurants that the entire restaurant is divided into. You'll see what I mean if you check out the video. It's also my first salute to use a green screen, and I have a different background for each section. And if you remember what color each letter is in the word Dre in the restaurant's name, I can explain the reasons for it. R is for red, Y is for yellow, and I made A blue because the Spanish word for blue, which is azul, begins with A. The letter D ended up being green by process of elimination. Now we've got my final rant of the year, my rant on Hype Life, which is a disaster of a computer company that the YouTuber Spectral Sound made up it also told me of all the reasons it's the worst computer company in the world. Like two of my other rants, 
I record it in my room at my paternal grandparents' house. I know that I said I made it a different location in every rant, but the room is pretty big and they were all in different parts of the room. Plus, I used that unique green screen effect for my rant on November 2013. Anyways, I come up with eight different issues that this computer company has that makes it the worst of all time. For those of you who are interested in checking it out. For my final song of the year, we've got Winter Season. I feel that it would be a nice song to make since I had access to the Christmas pack on the app where I make my music. And I used that pack for the first two minutes of the song. Then the last minute is a house music section when I also sing my verse. The message of this song is that we should appreciate what winter brings and for the things we can do indoors during the winter. I also created the song cover in my computer graphics class at school when we had a project to create a holiday green card. But my next song, Night City, even though it won't be in this video since I made it this year, I did the same thing. Well, I mean, I won't be reviewing it in the video, but you're still going to hear it at the beginning and end, like I already mentioned. Now, we got another family question. I was fortunately able to get in a second family question video before the end of the season slash year. It released on Christmas Day. When my family gathered for Christmas Eve, I asked them what the best birthday they've ever had was and why it was their favorite one. I explained in that video why I didn't ask a Christmas question that time. As you can see, my Uncle Brian created a montage of him taking a cutout of Aunt Jeannie with him during his best birthday. I didn't ask for him to make it, but I appreciated it. And you can see a picture from it down below. Now we've made it to the final video of the season and an appropriate way to end it. My top 10 favorite days of 2022, which released on New Year's Eve. Ever since mid-2021, I've enjoyed sharing my favorite and my least favorite days of each year of my life on the top 10s and explaining why they were good or bad days. I have my best days of 2022 list already made on that website, and I decided to make a YouTube video explaining my top 10 best days of the year and why they were great. I actually memorized all the dates in the video. Anyways, what I mean with the fun fact is that when I experienced the days that were number three through five on the countdown, I thought they were better than the day that was actually number one for a short amount of time. So yes, all three of those took place after that day. I probably thought that they were the best for a short amount of time since they seemed exciting because those days just happened. And that concludes all the videos in season six or 2022 of my YouTube channel. If you take a look here, you'll see that I uploaded eight songs, seven rants, six miscellaneous type videos, five salutes, three top 10 lists, two family questions, and one food challenge in 2022. Bye everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this video.